Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to build and release your Flutter based application for iOS ready for distribution. It could be distribution to the App Store, which is most likely going to be the case, or distribution maybe internally within, within a team that let's say everyone can't be connecting you know, their devices to your computer. Okay, so to do this, you just want to go to iOS. And actually, I also want to say a few things. So this video assumes that if, if, let's say, you are making it for and distributing it for the App Store, which again, the most likely scenario, that you registered the bundle ID on the iTunes Connect website, they develop on your developer account for iTunes. You created the application on the App Store Connect as well. I'll provide a link the official documentation for, for Flutter where you can check more information about this entire process. But I find because the, the that is generic across regardless of what framework you're using. And I also find like the hard part is always just you know just getting the exported. There's always something going wrong where you don't know exactly what to do. So what you want to do is go to iOS and let's just open any file. You know any one it doesn't really matter. Once you open one you'll get this button here. Open iOS module in Xcode. Click that. I've already opened it. Take a few seconds because Xcode will launch. And voila, you'll have your Flutter project, but just the iOS portion of it. And then from here, there's a few sort of things that you want to check, assuming uh, that you might want to change some stuff. So if you go to Runner, go to this, and then go to Runner. Make sure you know your display name is set to what you want, your bundle identifier. Obviously, a lot of this will be you know dragging stuff over from your Flutter based project. If you're happy with that, that's fine. Make sure you know you've selected the right sign in certificate, make sure you've selected the right team. Again, this is assuming that you've got an Apple account and that you've signed into the Apple account. And once you've done all of that stuff, make sure you've added an app icon as well, which you know you can do all of that extra stuff so you see app icon sources again the so playing resources online for that whereas flutter is pretty new so i wanted to create how to build and release regarding flutter and in xcode so now what you want to do is essentially create a build archive so first of all we want to in xcode go to product so right up here product and um, from here i'm going to go to scheme and select runner this should only be the one just make sure this is selected you want to go to product destination and from here you want to select generic ios device you can also select that from here as well then you want to go to runner and in here in the target settings you want to click then you want to select the runner from the sidebar and you know, obviously, update the version and the bundle identifier. Make sure this is what you know what you put in online when you created all your bundle ID. And then from here, we're ready to go. You want to go to product, archive, and this will essentially go through the process of you no, know, you know, just archiving your project, and we'll be presented with some you know next steps of what we can do. So then you'll open up this page, select the application that you need. So runner is, you know, in this case, the one I want. And as you can see, I did one about 20 minutes ago just to make sure it's all working. Now from here, I'm gonna to go to distribute app. And there's a few different options. iOS App Store, ad hoc. So that's more for if you're installing on a few devices, if you wanna distribute it to your organization and then development. This is most likely the option, click next. You can upload directly to the App Store Connect. So if you click next, this will analyze the signature. And I would, you know, you know, you just go through the regular process through that. The other option is to go to export. So you sign and export. So, you, but you'll just get the files locally. And let me just show you what that looks like. But I would recommend the other option. But the other option, you can just do the steps. You would don't need my help beyond that. And so you just click next, next and i'll say just next so you can select a specific certificate and profile from your team but or you can just automatically manage the sign in so this is going to communicate with apple servers you know get all of this sorted so this 
doesn't take very long at all. This is a very exciting process as well. Once you, you know, spend weeks, months, you know, maybe even over a year making an application, you get to this stage, you just want to get it, you know, out of the world, distribute it. And okay, this will just, you know, show you the required frameworks. Again, we don't really need to concern ourselves with that. Click export, specify the location for me. I'm gonna say the desktop, click export, and we're done. So now, if uh, let's just minimize this, we don't need that. So we have a look, there we go. So we have the IPA, the log, a couple of playlists, so you can see the distribution summary and the export options as well. But apart from that, that's really all you need to know. And then from here, you can upload it to the Apple App Store and then wait for them to review it and then get all your millions of downloads. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.